Uh, I have uh, officially declared, done a declaration of emergency, which gives us certain powers. We're going to be doing purchasing. We have viruses all over every single day. We just have to be, you know, conscious and do the, the right things. If you get the virus, you, you should keep yourself, you know, inside in quarantine. But I don't, I don't think that should be something to stop living and do the things that you like to do. Just be more careful when you travel. You know? I don't think we're prepared. We're not used to this, especially New Yorkers. They're not used to being quarantined. They're not used to being stayed in one place too long. They're used to like moving around, going about their business and things like that. So that's going to be hard. What yeah. about people listening to the state of emergency? You can declare it all you want, but how are, are they going to take heed to it? Are they going to be cautious or are they going to still go about their everyday life? Because you can declare anything you want. It's up to the people. Are, it's not enough police out here to police everybody. If you do the quarantine, what are you going to do to make them stay in? Today I coming because this happiness I heard it in the news just two days ago. I coming in the train, train is full. I didn't see anybody put in the mask. Some people I saw put in the mask. Some people, people even didn't talk in the train. People, everybody I saw, everybody is normal. You know, everybody is, didn't care about the, those things. Sir, may I help you? This business is going to be little affected because a lot of people don't eat in the outside food. A lot of people is scary and people, most of people working in the home working, you know. So we see what's going on. I'm not yet. I'm here. I'm only trust the God. If he's got help me, it's going to be all right. No problem. Thank you very much, brother. Have a beautiful day and enjoy. You too, brother. Always, always.